My parents met at a local dancing society. So actually, dancing is the reason that I'm here today. But that is not the reason that I've decided to talk about dancing. I participated in a national student dancing competition. And there, I saw it happening. Trust between every dancer and partner. So I decided to think about that a little bit further. Scramble it down into little steps, just like a dancing teacher does when he teaches a movement. And I noticed, of course, that a certain degree of mutual sympathy helps a lot, especially in dances about love and passion. But trusting your dancing partner is also based on communication. And that's what my message of today is about. If you ever had ballroom dancing lessons, you know that just performing the steps is not dancing. It's all about the steps that you perform together. Often the man takes the lead and the woman just has to trust that he will transfer her those things that she needs to be able to follow his steps. So communication in dancing is about telling your partner what you are doing, what she can expect from you, and what your next step will be. Not with words, but with little movements and body positions. This is my sixth and final year, I hope, at the Radboud University. And disappointingly, no course has ever taught me how to communicate my work to people outside the university. I have not been asked to put it in understandable words for my grandparents or my cousins at primary school. And that's a pity, because today there are as many media to communicate as there are different dancing styles. I think our bloggers will know that. So maybe what we need to rebuild trust is a dancing teacher at the university. One that teaches us how to explain what we are doing, what people can expect of us, and what our next steps will be. One that helps us to take the lead and give other people the opportunity to follow our steps. Would you like to join me in this course? Are you ready to dance? Thank you.